good friend of mine recommended Baylor. He said, Kyle, I think they will take care of you and treat you guys like rock stars. And he was correct. They didn't disappoint. It was epic. Started off with the red-eye flight. You know, took some heat for that early on. It seemed like a good idea. I think I figured out in about a 45 uh, hour span, I slept a total of one hour. And then we have to get in the car and go to Waco, Texas. The home of the Baylor Bears and Chip and Joanna Gaines. So when we rolled into Waco, we met Steve and Melissa Howen, and they were fantastic. Steve, just a great personality, super easy to get along with, and talk about somebody that loves Baylor athletics. And we met Steve, actually, via email, and was giving us a little bit of information, and bada boom, bada bing, we end up at his house. Yeah, Steve was great. Uh, like, like Kyle said, great personality. Just had tons of stories. It, it was a really cool thing, because he, he went to Baylor, and so he had stories from when he was there, and just over the years, different players, different games. His wife, Melissa, also great. Uh, she makes amazing chocolate chip cookies, as Justin found out, and he, he ate about 30 of them in one sitting. We made a quick trip to the silos. Our friend Brock took great care of us, gave us a private tour. We got to actually go into the silos. Um, normally that's for employees only. So they have a coffee shop. They do. They, they have also, a bakery. They have a bakery. They have this. A home goods store. They have the home goods store. So they got a turf field, cornhole. They have a garden off to the side. They also have food uh, vendors there. Wife's in the store, shopping. What do you do? Take the kids go outside, kick the soccer ball around, and call it an afternoon. If you haven't been to Magnolia Market, check it out. It is worth the time, even if you're just buying candles for your wives like we did. But let's get to the real point here. We're talking about the Baylor Bears, we're talking about Sikkim, and we're talking about cool uniforms. After we get the keys to the castle, yep. we then shoot off to McLean Stadium. We end up meeting the fan engagement staff, Jeremy, Derek, and we have Carson like Wentz. We've been in a lot of locker rooms over the years. This was by far the most expansive. But this was one ginormous room. Shaped like a football. Shaped like a football, huge BU in the middle. You could throw a touchdown, you could kick a field goal, you could do a lot of different things in there, it's so big, so. Uh, it seems like this one was built a little bit differently than other football stadiums we've been in. I think it's because it's so vertical. They're not spreading you out, they're just stacking you up. Who's a football player that you could name right now that played at Baylor? There is one guy that comes to my mind. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Robert Griffin the third. The bull. Now, if it is to scale, he's enormous. I don't know how they tackle him on Sundays if he's actually that size. Dr. Matt Burchett was amazing. He was like a historian when it came to Baylor. He knew years, he knew dates, he had stories. There was a couple stories I think that, that uh, really resonated with us. One was the Immortal 10. So the Immortal 10, um, there's this, this famous statue on campus showing a group of uh, basketball players and staff that a long time ago they were on their way to play a game in Austin and the person driving the bus did not see an oncoming train. Ten of those people passed away. There's one individual that is at the front of the group and he's known for saving his friend by throwing him out the, the door, saving him from that train crash. And I'd say that's the kind of stuff that, you know, when we go to these schools and we hear these types of stories, that's, that's what we love. Just real stories that have to do with the school. You can just see how every freshman coming in, they hear this story and they see how it applies to them. And so it's a really big deal at Baylor. Part of the history of Baylor is their live bears that they have on campus. We were able to not only see the bears, but we were able to interact with them to some degree. And so the bears' names, what were the bears' names, Jeremy? Joy and Lady, they're getting up there in age. I can still do the, the sickum, but they're great. They're right on campus, they're in their uh, habitat there, and, and you know students can come up and, and see them and interact with them. George's, the big O. So George's is kind of a staple of Waco, and more specifically to uh, Baylor fans. In one section, it's it's super family friendly, it's not as loud, and then you kind of step into this other section of the restaurant and somewhat similar, would you say? And then the third is kind of like, boom, it hits you with like 50. Full on sports bar. Yeah. TVs everywhere. There's 
beer, there's awesome food. What about- Did you have a big O? I had a big O. I had a big O. Apparently they used to be 50 cents. That would be a lot of big O's. Uh, but other than that, George's- Highly recommend it. Go Brit. to the game, but if you're gonna watch other football games- George's is the place. George's. Go to George's. And we got invited to a tailgate uh, for Sikkim365.com. Great tailgate. Anyway, we met Ashley there. Ashley was amazing, very welcoming. Uh, showed us around, and then we also met Colt, who was the uh, kind of runs the website. Kind of where their tailgate's located is year round. They have what looks like a storage container, and it opens up, and it has a full blown set on there. They do interviews, they interview players and former players, and so that was a cool scene. You know, Baylor has crazy fans, right? T Rex was one guy we met who was very passionate about his school. It was also Halloween, so the school did lots of cool things at Touchdown Alley. There was a Growloween that went on, so kids could come there and they were handing out candy. There's lots of fun activities to do in this little touchdown area. Some of the Howans friends had a tailgate, and they had um, a series, it was like metal structures and hammocks hanging throughout the tailgate. First time I've ever seen that anywhere we've ever been. It was quite the setup, uh, quite the investment, but it seemed to be pretty relaxing by everybody hanging out there. So. Every game day, the Baylor line, 2,500 freshmen, pushing in seven, jostling, excited for game day, get to rush the field. And it's like a, it's like a stampede of freshmen just running all over the place. And he's gonna give us the go to run behind the Baylor line. Baylor line actually sprints to their seating, and the seating is half of the McLean. Goal line to goal line. And not behind the not behind the home bench. You don't want those wild animals behind no. the home bench. You want them behind mm. the visitors. Hackling, going crazy, being loud. Mm. So we got up on the on the podium, Justin and I, and they want us to help lead a chant. It's called the whisper chant. <laughs> And the entire night, the, the stadium does not rest. No. Not on defense, no. not on offense. Everyone. No time to sleep. There is no time to sleep. Everyone is going crazy the entire time. Well, coming into the game, Baylor's 7 0. We were down on the sideline watching the game. Mm -hmm. They go to attempt a field goal the first time. Ref comes out, delay a game. Knocks but he made it. Yards, he made, made it, though. No, he made goal. it. I thought it was I thought it was tie ball game overtime. They back him up five yards. But the second, so they end up blocking the kick and then. I mean, next thing you know, there ain't no. Matt, thank you. You are amazing. We love what you're doing. You can see that your leadership is making a difference. You know, going into Baylor, we didn't really know what to expect. You know, we'd reach out to people in the athletic department and they, they were very gracious and responsive. I was blown away with not only how they go about running their game day experience and how much fun we had, but how open they were to sharing and showing us everything that goes on. Uh, they had countless people who uh, worked with us and, and took care of us. So I was just totally taken aback by the experience. Um, I would would put Baylor and the game day experience up there with any place that we've ever been over the years. Second down. Fantasy intended for Bryce Leighton, Raleigh Dahada on the coverage. 